In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to accept and receive money into your crypto wallet from anywhere around the world. Now, a lot of people don't know actually how to do this, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys basically how to do it so that you can send money anywhere around the world instantly. Now, how does this work? Basically, let's say I have 100 Ethereum in my wallet. Well, then my friend or someone who's supposed to receive it has a key, and then basically, I'll input the key into the send area and then send it to them. Now, the app I'm gonna be using is Coinbase because Webull actually has hasn't added the wallet, crypto wallet function yet. So hopefully they add it in the future, but Coinbase is a great app as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it real quick. So what are the two types of wallets? There's a hot wallet and a cold wallet. Now a lot of us are gonna be using a hot wallet, which is normally like an app or an extension. A good example would be MetaMask. Or, but then there's also a cold wallet, which basically means you have to buy this device that's literally made for receiving and sending crypto. Now the thing with this is that the device is disconnected from the internet, but with the hot wallet device is connected to the internet this makes it easier to hack a hot wallet but also a cold wallet you cannot refund crypto that you send and there's literally no way you're getting it back so honestly I would recommend trying out a hot wallet if you are just starting off with receiving and sending crypto so as you can see I have my account open right here and I'm basically just gonna show you guys how to do this so when you open up coinbase it's gonna be right here and you're just gonna scroll up and press transfer now when you press transfer you see two options you could either send crypto to someone you know so for example I have a theorem right here and it gives you these other options now the thing with crypto is that the fee is there but the fee is so low so here I have a 16 cent fee press I understand and then right here you'll input someone else's wallet address so basically the random scramble of numbers you'll just input it here and then press continue and send it to them now here's how you can actually receive any crypto from anywhere around the world you're gonna press transfer and receive now it may get kind of confusing now so pay attention you can either request crypto from a different account or you can also just have your own wallet now Coinbase supports literally so many cryptocurrencies, it's almost infinite. But most of us are going to be using Ethereum, Bitcoin, or USDC. So from here, you're going to press on this little icon, and let's just say Bitcoin for example. Then this is my Bitcoin address right here, and I'm just going to press copy. Now if I copy it, someone with Coinbase or a different app like MetaMask can actually send the crypto to me. From here, you can use the crypto. So let's go over a couple of drawbacks with Coinbase and also other options you guys can use for receiving and transferring crypto to other wallets. Now, if you don't wanna use Coinbase, another great option is crypto.com and they literally specialize in sending and receiving crypto. Coinbase sorta also specializes in just crypto, but this thing is literally called crypto.com, come on. If you search up best wallets for crypto, crypto.com will show up a lot, but as you can see right here, Coinbase is still rated a 4.3 out of five stars. And honestly, if your only goal is to easily send and receive crypto, well, Coinbase is a great starting ground. Now, honestly, I would not recommend a MetaMask because their fees are insane. And also, MetaMask only does Ethereum. A lot of people use Bitcoin, USDC, USDT, but MetaMask literally only offers Ethereum and they specialize in this. So if you're mostly gonna be dealing with Ethereum, then you can obviously use MetaMask, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I hope you guys got some value from this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.